I guess. How you doing today? Hope you're doing all right. I'm not doing too bad myself. Uh, this is actually a test recording that I had done on my PS4 to see the quality of my uh, capture card and everything on it. I had never hooked up an HDMI book to it before. So, you can actually see how well it looks and everything like that. It's 1080p, uh, max FPS, whatever it is, I can't remember exactly. I think the recording FPS is 50? I can't remember exactly. But yeah, I go through this entire uh, first area. Mostly no problem. And I end up killing the cleric demon. I do plan on doing a playthrough on this. And I, I do apologize, I haven't gotten, um. <clears throat> uh, what's it called? Uh. uh Dark Souls 2 recorded at all. I do plan on doing a playthrough on that as well. I just haven't gotten to it yet. The play, the build that I'm going to be going on Dark Souls 2 is actually going to be a bow dex build. I'm, except for the beginning, I'm going to be using a bow 100% of the time. And. Oh, where, where was I going with that? Uh, the beginning, I'm going to be using the weapons that I'm given, sword and shield and whatever. But uh, as soon as I get a bow and I get enough souls to buy arrows, it's going to be 100% bow usage. And my character is going to be named Archer Dan, if anyone gets the reference. High five. Uh, if you don't get the reference, uh then you don't watch the TV show that it's from. Yay! And then the build that I'm going to be going on, Bloodborne, is going to be... Um, what was it? Skill and Blood Tinge. My first playthrough uh, was actually Strength. It was, it was like a combination of things. It was... Uh, strength and skill, and then of course uh, HP and endurance, or whatever it's called now. I think it's endurance. I'm actually watching the video at the same time of, uh... Recording this narration, or whatever you want to call this narration. So I'm not actually playing at the same time. Uh, the first PS4 video that I'm going to be putting out is going to be, uh... 1886, the order. I have roughly three hours of footage of that so far. I'm going to try and get as much more of it as I can here pretty soon. <clears throat> right here, I was trying to decide whether to try and fight all these guys or just make a run for it. Yeah, back whenever I first started this game, I thought that this area might be like a mini boss fight area. And that, that I knew uh, from a few fights. When did I get that? Uh, anyway, 
sorry. I knew from a few fights, uh, back whenever Bloodborne was in its close beta, I think it is, um, from Vatividya, that you run into an area and a fog gate closes behind you, the boss jumps out. There's no walking through fog gates anymore. They just pop out and attack you. So I, I thought that this might be an area that you'd get attacked, even though it was so close to the beginning. I don't know how many of you are going to believe me on this, but uh, in the very beginning of this game, uh, there is a little werewolf, that's what I call it. Uh, and I ended up doing a Vorpal attack on its butt. I had managed to get the charge attack in on it from behind it, and I Vorpaled it. One hit kill. Well, two hit kill, because you have to do the charge attack first, but whatever. I'm not counting that. Get ready to go. So yeah, I just kind of ran in and flipped around to see if there were any enemies following me that I needed to, care to take care of before fighting the boss. And nope, they all just kind of stopped and went about their merry business. Physically, this character, or this boss right here, reminds me of uh, Manus of the Abyss. Just looking at the left arm, it looks like uh, Manus's toothy hand, and Abyssal. I don't know what you call it. It's like Abyssal energy, I guess flying off of, his, off of his left arm. Whoop. Oh, smashed. And the character you're actually watching is going to end up a uh, arcane build. I don't know why I ended up with Wonderbus, but uh, she is. going to end up using Ludwig's blunderbuss or rifle. I thought that I had dodged that, but he didn't jump far enough. I don't know why the purple or the visceral attack didn't work right there, but I wasn't too worried about it. If you actually look at the demon's head, you can see the blood spurting out of it. That's a uh, gash in its skull. You just have to look very carefully. But, alright guys, I'll see you later. You have a good one. And thanks for watching. Bye, 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 bye.